All right, now that we've taken a look at a basic frame by frame animation, let's go ahead and look at how we can create a tween and add a little bit more uh, pizzazz, we'll say, to our simple animation here. So I'm going to delete all of these layers here. So I'm just going to select all these frames and just press the delete button here. So I'm going to kill all of those keyframes that I just barely created and I'm back to my default uh, state here. So in this instance, I'm going to change this back to no delay and we're going to add a little bit of what's known as a tween. So I'm going to start again with my duplicate button here. So I'm going to duplicate this frame and then on this frame, I'm going to take my wallet layer and I'm going to move him up here out of view. Okay, so he's out of the canvas area right now. Then I'm going to duplicate that again, and I'm gonna take that layer and move him down into view, right there back in the middle. So you can see that the second frame he's up here, the third frame he's down here. Now what I can do is I can select the second and third frames, so hold down shift and click both of those. And this is the button right here that we want to select. It's called the tween button. And tween is a term that comes from animation and it means that Photoshop will create a bunch of in-between frames in two and three to create a seamless motion. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And here's the three things that I mentioned earlier that Photoshop can tween. It can tween the position of a layer, the opacity of a layer, or any of the effects, meaning the layer styles that are applied to a layer. Okay, so I'm gonna say tween with the selection and I wanna add, I'll just leave this at the default five frames and hit okay. And you can see now Photoshop added five frames in between my two and my eight. And if I select through these one by one, so there's three, there's four, you can see it's starting to creep down, five, six, seven, eight. So Photoshop takes that beginning and that ending position of those two keyframes and it does the animation automatically for me so that I don't have to manually move that down, create a keyframe, move it down, create a keyframe. It'll automatically do the tween, okay? So my wallet comes down and now I'm gonna duplicate frame eight. So I'm just gonna add the duplicate button here. And then I'm going to turn on my shape over the top. And on this one, I'm gonna show you how we can do the opacity. So instead of just having this guy at 100%, I want it to fade in. So I'm gonna duplicate it one more time. Well, first, let me actually change the opacity here. So on my shape layer, I'm gonna take the opacity and take that all the way down to zero. Okay, then I'm gonna duplicate the layer. And on the second keyframe, I'm gonna take the opacity all the way back up to 100%. So on frame nine, the, the checkbox is still there, it's just invisible. And on frame 10, it's at 100% opacity. Then I do the same thing. I'll select frame nines and frame 10, and I'll come down here to the tween button. I'll leave it at the default five frames again. Notice opacity is checked. I find it easiest just to leave all three of these checked and go ahead and select okay. And now that frame here will slowly fade in. You can see that fade happening. And then I would just rinse and repeat this process for each of my other shapes. I'm just gonna hurry and do that. So I'll go ahead and duplicate this. I'll turn on my phone layer. Then I'll take these, uh, whoops, create my phone layer. I'll add one more keyframe here. And on this layer, I'm gonna move my phone up. Make sure I select the right layer here. Take my phone layer, move it up off screen. My move tool. Whoops, why is that not moving for me there? Let's try that again, there we go. Move it off stage, right here it exists, so then I'll select those two and click my tween button. Tween the selection, yes, it's gonna tween the position, so I'll click through here, sure enough, phone moves down. Add a new keyframe, turn on my phone, set its opacity to zero, add another keyframe, set its opacity to 100% and then tween between, whoops, I turned off the wrong layer, didn't I? I did. I uh, set the opacity on the wrong layer, so I've gotta turn the opacity back up on the phone layer. I want the shape right here to have 0% opacity. There we go, and then the shape right here to have 100% opacity. Select these last two frames, click the tween button, five frames, sure, hit okay. 
and that should now gradually fade in the checkbox there. And then one more time. So one more new keyframe, turn on my keys layer and duplicate that on this frame 30. I'll move the keys layer. Whoops, keep doing that. Select the keys layer so I can actually properly move it. Move it up off stage. Then on this, uh, these two frames, select both of those. Add the tween button, hit OK, and move ahead. So I can, I'm just gonna double check that that's moving down, sure enough. Okay, on the last frame here, finally, I'll add one more keyframe. Turn on my shape layer. Set its opacity to zero. Add one more keyframe, set its opacity to 100%. Select the last two layers and go ahead and add the tween. Add five frames and now we're finally done. So now I can go ahead and hit play and you'll be able to watch this happen. Okay, so while it comes in, this fades in while phone keys, check, check, check. And again, they're all set to zero seconds. If I wanted that to happen slower, I could select the last frame here, move all the way forward, select the first frame and change those all maybe to 0.1 seconds and then hit play and that'll happen a little bit slower. And that's a basic animation with the uh, three states tweening the properties instead of manually creating each one of those frames. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a layer style uh, tween and then we'll show you how to export these animations into actual GIF files that you can place on the web.